Ethelflad, Lady the Mercians. A hard name to spell, but who is she? Let's take a quick look. It all starts in the 800s, where a girl named Ethelflad was born. Now our Ethel was no normal baby. She was the eldest child of King Alfred, who ruled Wessex at the time. You see, the island we live on and know as the United Kingdom was anything but united back then. Let me quickly fill you in. It was filled with seven kingdoms that were always under threat of attack from each other. Tamworth was the capital of Mercia back then. The biggest threat to Mercia was the Vikings who were always trying to invade from Northumbria and East Anglia. Luckily, our King Alfred was extremely good at stopping the Vikings from invading his Mercia. So good, in fact, he was nicknamed Alfred the Great. He was also a great father to our Ethel, encouraging her and his people to learn and treat people fairly. She grew up reading books, playing chess, learning combat, and all about the strategy of war and battle, which would prove pretty handy to her later in life. When Ethel fled was a young woman, she was wed to the Mercian leader, a young man called Ethelred, with a view to keep a strong bond between both of their families. Shortly after their marriage, Ethel gave birth to a daughter named Althwyn, the years that followed saw the husband and wife team take back vast areas of Mercian land from the Vikings, both in the Midlands and to the north. Tribes battling tribes for supremacy. Unfortunately, as time went on, Athel's husband became weak and died. This left Athel to be the effective ruler of Mercia alone and gave her the famous title of Lady of the Mercians. She is known to be the first female ruler of this status, which is some feat in itself. As Lady of the Mercians, she kept herself busy, working tirelessly alongside her brother Edward to protect her kingdom by building defences in towns like Bridge North, Stafford, Warwick and of course Tamworth. Tamworth Castle, as we know it, was later built on her defensive enclosure. She even took care of her nephew, Ethelstan, who later became the first King of England. Not content with just protecting her land, she wanted to claim back what the Vikings had previously taken. Following her father's footsteps, our Ethel wasn't afraid to lead her men into battle and was a fierce warrior and quite famously beat the Vikings to claim back Derby. Not only successful at leading men into battle, she was a strong negotiator and managed to claim back Leicester by making the Vikings surrender it to her without a fight. Ethel ruled as Lady of the Mercians for a strong seven years before passing away on the 12th of June 918 in Tamworth. During her time ruling the Mercians, she worked to strengthen her kingdom, give charity to churches and care for her people. Just before her death, the Viking leaders of York even offered her their loyalty, a feat that even King Alfred the Great hadn't been able to achieve. It is said that some of her remains were buried in Tamworth, where she passed away and her body transported to Gloucester for burial alongside her husband, Ethelred. The 12th of June 2018 marks 1100 year anniversary of Ethelfled's death in Tamworth. Celebrate her legacy and join us in remembering this incredible leader and woman by coming along to Ethelfest, 13th to the 15th of July in Tamworth. See the largest community Saxon mosaic, Saxon encampment, talks on our Ethel and a giant statue of the lady herself. Oh, and don't forget to copy her pose, hashtag do the Ethel. If you want to find out more about our Ethel and the Ethel Fest, go to www.ethelflad.co.uk. Oh, and one more thing. Big thanks to the talented Made by Leah, whose quill and ink have illustrated this story for us.